It's time to begin the brand new tomorrow. The tomorrow that our Sato well, made then, for. I guess if you would. Everyone. Right. Um, there's something Whoa. I have to say, but. Oh dear. I'm not um, sure how to put it. Something's going with my computer. A warbor is doing stuff. <laughs> um, I get a multitask. I'm really happy to have known all of you. Hold on. Uh, um. A lot's happened in the past few days, but over time, it'll make our friendship stronger. You know. But hey, don't say it like that. It sounds like you're saying your goodbyes. <laughs> you're right. I see. Friendship. What gives you life? What makes you realize you're alive? Sorry, that was a war bore. If it isn't just death, if there's something else, it could be friendship. Is this the answer to life I'm supposed to find? Congratulations, sister. They're all in the velvet room. Now you get to see where Minato Arasato spent at least half of his life. Hey, wait a second. What's going on here? This isn't the front of the dorm. Everyone, what's going on? There is no need to worry. I only summoned you here that we might say our farewell. I am rather surprised, though. I did not expect your friends to follow you here. It seems the power of the wild card within you has influenced them as well. Isn't that a bit creepy? You just all of a sudden go through a door and you see this dude with a big ass nose telling you, <laughs> Goodbye! Huh? I guess you know them? Well, that's Mr. Penis Nose, and that's the bitch who likes to play with dildos, and that's Metis. So, yeah. I, 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 I this think I know is where them. those who are about to awaken to their power receive guidance. My sister and your friend were guests here. Wait, how come you're standing there smiling like you know it all? Don't you remember what I said before? My place is here, on the other side. Congratulations, Ooh, I'm so sorry. And the rest of you as well. I didn't mean to press that button. Metis. Sister, you said before that you promised to protect him. If you've truly come to appreciate your ties to others, I think you can still keep that promise. What? Someday, when more people come to realize that, the world will stop yearning for Nyx, and that monster will be vanquished. For that day to come, your every action will be important. Isn't that another way of protecting your friend? I... 
can still keep my promise. Metis, who are you really? Won't you tell us? I think she's the other me. I am the shadow, the true self. I couldn't bear the pain of losing him, so I wished to be a mere machine again. You must be the part of myself I wished away. My lonely sister, always afraid of being left alone. You came to help me acknowledge and confront the pain of living. I finally understand. I only wish I had realized it much sooner. Sister. All life shares a sea deep within its soul. I think that's where I came from. Your heart is connected to that sea as well. You're truly alive now. From now on, we'll always be together. Sister, I'm coming home. Welcome back. Whoa, what happened to all the armor that I had? I mean, that August had. What happened to all that armor? I haven't felt this way in a while. When I went back to being a machine, I no longer required sleep. Hmm. It seems our guest has safely reached her destination. Her answer to life. Answer to life? Please, tell me, now that I've found my answer, is my life at its end? The destination of all lives lead to different paths. End? What? Huh? What do you mean? I guess. It's strange. I feel so satisfied. I guess you... You're not... No! This isn't happening! I think... I'm finally at peace with losing him. Odd. For some reason... The tears are only now coming. I should have attended his farewell. I was so foolish, locking myself away. Looking back... I remember that Metis would cry to think I had discarded such a basic emotion. You've completed your ordeal splendidly and come to the end of your journey. And now we must part. I guess. Hey, you can't be serious. I guess. It's all right. Don't worry. No. Oh, still sorry. I didn't mean to press that button. Bye, Philemon. You know, I think you can spread the message now. Not with words alone, but if you could do that. He wouldn't have to bear the burden all alone, would he? And that's the weather. At the tone, the time will be midnight. Now we're finally going to be le be able to leave the storm. Good evening. It is now April 1st. Here's a recap of the news from the 31st. Yeah! <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone slip me a roofie. <sighs> when did we fall asleep? 
Well, I believe it was when that uh, bitch with the blue hat decided to serve us drinks. Huh? What? Wait, is this? Yup, it's April Fool's Day! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I just thought, oh, it'd be such a cruel thing if, like, eh, if, like, the game just, like, decided to reverse again. Say April Fools! Oh, you didn't actually. It's not actually April Fools Day. Uh, it's not April first. It's still March thirty first. <laughs> You're gonna be stuck inside of me forever. What is it, Korachan? Aren't we? Um. Aren't we gathered around the entrance? Talking about some kind of key? Now that I'm finally done with this sub story, the side story, I can now go play Raido Kuzunoha. <sighs> That's right. But it looks like everything's okay now. The outside world is back to normal. We can leave any time. So, the abyss of time has disappeared. Yup. The date! It's April 1st! Indeed! So, that means we're safe, right? And why Woo! Why is Arcus still sleeping? Why is she still sleeping? I guess, wake up! We're safe! Come on, I guess! Uh oh. Wait a second. After we opened the front door with the key. We were brought to that room that looked like an elevator. The velvet room. <laughs> and while we were there, I guess, son. Hey, I guess. How long are you gonna lie there? Wake up, I guess. Mm, oh dear, that's not good, right? Mitsuru Senpai. It's too early to reach any conclusions. But let's carry her to her but, room for now. But we can keep an eye on her but, condition with the equipment there. It's sexy booty. Why? Why must she die? Hint, hint. Actually, actually she don't die. <laughs> yeah, j just FYI, she doesn't die. No, that's not going to ruin anything for you. Damn it! She's not waking up. How's it look, Fuka? Don't worry, I've used this system a number of times before. The equipment should be set up already, so... If only it wasn't so late at night. I'm sorry, I tried contacting the lab, but I doubt they'll be sending anyone right away. Well, I've almost got the Bioscan unit online. Is that it? No, oh, oh, what? Um, wait, what? That herp and derp and derp. There's something wrong here. Because what I heard and what the screen says are two completely different things. I heard Mitsuru's voice say, is that it? And Akihiko's face and text comes up. Um, the herp and derp. I didn't know Gara's voice could go that high and become so womanly when he's surprised. Um, the herpader. Yes, her vital signs are up on screen. Let's see. And if you don't know what I'm on about, Gara and Akihiko's voice actor for this game and for the show Naruto are Liam O'Brien. So there. Synaptic circuits, they're completely burned out. There was some sort of massive system overload that took her way over capacity. Oh, well, considering the fact that I had like seven personas it's on me at the time. related to her new ability to use multiple personas. Yeah, I thought so. Burned out? But they can fix her, right? It's easy to replace the faulty parts, but... She'll no longer 